So we're probably how far into our trip? 47 miles. 47 miles into our trip, yeah. And uh, he's chowing on some beef jerky because you know we need protein and all of that stuff. We had our first major mishap, or I should say I did. I pulled off. Um, we're at uh, Mount Hood, government camp, rest stop. We pulled off, and when I pulled in the parking lot and turned around, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I am like deathly allergic to bees. And somehow, I, have, I wear a full face helmet. Somehow, <laughs> the visor was up, uh, a bee got in here, in my glasses, and my husband saw me, eyes, I was, eyes, yeah. I was flicking around, I was trying to get my glasses off, I was trying not to drive my motorcycle. What's that? What's that? You said you almost dropped your bike. I almost dropped my bike. I pulled my nose ring out. All the attempt to get my glasses off with, and that little beat away. And I don't know how he did it, but he did not sting me. He got away. So now we're getting, are you going to put on warmer? Put on my clothes. Okay, we're, yeah, we've ridden in hoodies and I think we're getting ready to go up over the mountain. So we're going to get on our warm gear, heated gear. I don't know if I'm going to plug in or not, but we will catch you guys in a bit. I'll try to get some video on the way and upload it a little bit tonight. So, wish us safety. See you later. Bye. Here's a little bit of... I don't know if you can hear me or not because I might have it on. Here's a little bit of Oregon countryside on the other side of the mountains. gorgeous. It's such a change. <laughs> Gee. So, Harley rider, it's midnight, you got sunglasses on, all you need is a, <laughs> something hanging out of your mouth and a plasma's like, mm. uh, whatever. So we made it to the hotel. I tell you what, this is one suck butt ride today. Oh my gosh. First I got a bee. That's why I have my sunglasses on. I got a bee stuck underneath my sunglasses for the first part of the ride. The first stop we made. And it didn't sting me. I'm glad because I didn't want to have to stick that EpiPen through my jeans. I don't know if you guys have ever used them or not. But oh, I'd have stuck you with it. Yeah, I know you would. I'd right, twitch your eyeballs. Oh, yeah, oh, shut up. Those those needles are they're like the size of a nail or something. Oh, I didn't want to have to do the stop. stop. <laughs> he doesn't want in the film, but I told you guys that was HSO. Anyway, we went through Warm Springs, which was really pretty. It was a great ride. Well, I don't know. I have Maria, but it was a good ride until we got to where did we get to where. It, Everything started to suck. At the flat lake or the desert lake or some lake that ain't got no water in it. I don't know. Like around the pine, after La Pine, everything just Way went. after La Pine. No, it was before. No, everything just went downhill. It was beautiful. No rain, anything. But I was looking up and I saw the clouds were getting dark. I was getting kind of freaked out. Well, then we came around a turn and there was stuff all over the road. Yeah, it was Shush, 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 shush. There was stuff all over the road, so I was not really sure what was on the road. <laughs> and I was leading because my husband, he's like a gentleman and he likes to make sure I'm okay. Except for this time, it was hay. Hay. I had no allergies since we left Portland. And then I get stuck behind a hay truck. So I pulled the visor down on my full face. Hay's still everywhere. I'm sneezing. My nose is running, and my, my glasses are falling off, all my makeup is gone. And we were behind that hay, hay truck for how long? Oh, probably 50 miles. Probably 50, probably 50 miles, yeah. And there was there was no way to get around it. I have no idea, did it, I think it turned off or something. Somehow it disappeared. I don't know how, but it's No, gone. we passed it. Did we pass it? Yes. Okay, I guess we passed it. I don't remember that because I was sneezing and... Stop it. You need an EpiPen now. Shoot yourself. 
What do you mean it turned off? You passed it at 90 miles an hour. Oh, okay, so I want to ask you, we're in the Oregon, what they call the Oregon Outback. It's gorgeous. There are no houses. There's nothing. But there was a mailbox. Who lives 3,000 miles from town? Freddy Krueger. <laughs> The whole thing is full of goats. That's what he was doing. The goats. <laughs> Freddy Krueger lived 300 miles from any town. Nothing. What do people do? Oh my gosh, they'd have to drive two hours to go to the store. Suck blood. <laughs> Freddy Krueger. It was hor It was horrible. Even though it was gorgeous, and I've got some pictures, and I'll try to get some uploaded when I get back, maybe. But um, <laughs> it was it was quite the adventure, and we just went and had Mexican food. And now. I think I'm gonna hop in the shower and wash this hate off of me and catch some sleep and get up and out in Torino tomorrow. Tomorrow, how long's our ride about? A little less than four hours, I think. <clears throat> so we'll try to get some stuff. Tomorrow, I just wanna let you know, we guys, you guys, we made it. You didn't make, we made it. <clears throat> and uh, if you guys see us at Street Five, stop, say hi, let's get a fit and we will see you soon. Oh, that was my favorite. See you later. Look Bye. You look like a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You look like we just robbed a bank in Lakeview and we're finna get out of town. There is nothing in Lakeview. Nothing. The Mexican food had people. There was money in the gas register. Yeah, we had great Mexican food. <laughs> you look like a criminal. So we had a couple of drinks, too. I'm not saying who. We're not going to name any names. I'm not gonna show any faces because he, he's kind of undressed, so. <laughs> anyway, no. We'll see you guys later. Have a great night.